How's it guys? Eastern forehand, eastern forehand, eastern forehand. I'm gonna show you some of the common mistakes you're making with your eastern forehand. Stay tuned. Okay guys, eastern forehand on bevel number three. There's the eastern forehand. It's not continental, it's not western, it's eastern right there. Okay, I wanna show you some of the problems you have with your eastern forehand, okay? It's a lot more flat, okay? So the first, the first mistake players make is they think because it's flat that they can just turn like this, okay? So if you wanna, if you wanna uh, be updated, if you wanna be able to play with modern players with the eastern grip, uh, like Federer has the eastern grip, he does sometimes switch to western, but you'll never see Federer turning straight flat like that, okay? This is, this is, for, this is, uh, this is old school right now. So if you use the Eastern forehand, don't be tempted. Don't be tempted to turn down there. Even though it feels right, if you wanna go to the next level with your Eastern forehand, you still have to turn up with the elbow, okay? Up with the elbow, why, okay? Because you're gonna get more spin, racket head speed, power, everything. So don't think because you have Eastern grip, you turn down, still turn up, proper turn, next to you, make space. So it looks like this. There's my Eastern grip. There's the elbow. So now you can actually get enough spin, elbow, and power, elbow, power. So when you do that, you can actually compete with modern forehand players who's using a Western grip, just like Federer, because now you're gonna get power and you'll be able to get spin. So don't turn flat down, let's move on. Talk about the turn with the Eastern grip, I have to talk about the follow through as well. Same problem, players think after the turn, they can just go slowly forward, okay? So it will look something like this. And they're just basically placing the ball, okay? What happens though if you need more power? What happens though if you need more spin? You're gonna be in trouble. What happens if someone hits the ball high? You're gonna be in trouble with that swing, okay? So with the Eastern grip, make very sure that you're still using your wrist. If you look at Federer on contact point, he's got the lag, he's got that going, and then he's got the contact point. And then from there, his strings actually close over the ball. So make sure your wrist is still doing enough work. I'm not saying this way, but make sure your wrist is still doing enough work over the ball and then through. Okay, don't just go easy through. So what ha would happen then is it would look like this. You can still get racket head speed. And this is all the while, while you're using Eastern grip. You can still get racket head speed by doing this. Okay, so there, don't just go straight calmly you'll make a lot of balls but you're going to be in trouble against better players contact the wrist drops automatically and then so automatically the butt of the racket goes to the ball but then keep your wrist a little bit cocked as you brush over the ball and then release let me give you one more tip on the eastern forehand all right last tip guys players think that uh, racket head speed let's see if you can hear this they think that racket head speed is only for players with a Western grip, players like Nadal, okay? But if you do the Eastern grip correctly, you should still have racket head speed. If your contact point is good, if you're getting over the ball enough, you should still be having this feeling. It ties into the previous step. It's not a slow guiding motion. In tennis, the more you guide, the more you miss. Okay, you always still wanna throw. Let me see if I can show you a demo. Eastern elbow tip. Uh, wrist tip and then racket head speed. So I'm still swinging my racket as quick as I can, even with the Eastern. If you get this right, you can have a very, very effective Eastern forehand. So those are three common mistakes that you could be making on your Eastern forehand if you still like to use the Eastern forehand grip. Eastern forehand grip still works. Many, many pros do use it, but they're using it with modern technique, okay? You don't like the Eastern grip, you want to use the Western grip, but you don't know how to hit a Western forehand. Watch this video on the screen right now, I'll show you.